everyone, we are back in Asheville, starting at a slightly different spot. I um turn um, the car turned on the wrong road. Um, what's this guy doing? The car turned on the wrong road, and um, I had to take a different uh, different path because it got in the wrong lane. Um, and it has been doing that every single time. That was not a disengagement. It does that a lot. It seems like automatically disengage as soon as I enable it. So we're gonna have a couple extra bonus. The speed limits are still wrong in Asheville. It's still set it to 35 on this road. And that is not 35 on this road. Um, that was the latest map data corrected. <laughs> Um, that was not a disengagement. I guess it turned the wheel or something weird like that. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. And this is where we would normally start. So let's go ahead and see what it gives us. The reality, yeah, no disengagement so far. Perfect time for a fire truck to come through here. Okay. Okay, well, edge case. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Okay. Wow. Um, so. You want maximum edge case. There you go. Terrible roads in Asheville makes it a one-way because you want to put park on each side of the damn road. <laughs> okay, well, talk about an edge case. Um, okay, it's going way too fast. This is part of the problem. The speed limits have changed. It is going like 10 mile an hour faster than it should be going in this area. Okay, we are safe to go. Okay, it turned too wide because this truck was here. So that tried to turn into that car. Um, okay, not looking great so far. We got a cool edge case. Um, Again, 35 mile an hour is not the speed limit on this road. The map data is ruined. Asheville makes it so difficult to test. Like, I'm going to have to, like, do a negative um, speed, um, relative speed when I do Asheville. Because it's just, it sets 35 mile an hour for every speed limit now. And it's just not 35 in here. See if it's gonna make it down Carolina Lane. Hey. But it stops right here for some reason. And of course we have people here. That's not gonna be a disengagement. Uh, I wanna go ahead and route us to, again, it reroutes to 35. Do you think it's 35 mile an hour in this alleyway? Really? Like, the map data down... Like, where did they get this map data from? Like, seriously. Where did they get this map data from? Like, every time I enable, I have to scroll down 15 mile an hour. Imagine if I had a 5 mile an hour offset to go higher. It'd be 40 mile an hour on this road. Like, it needs to have spatial awareness of the area I'm like no one would go 35 in this alleyway regardless even if it was the legal speed limit and it's not that being said I didn't mention um, this is our blind corner test everyone it, it went down the look at the, the look at this map it went down the wrong road 
The point is on this road, and it went down the wrong road. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um. This is this is bad, everyone. Um. I think this is why it didn't get pushed to full release. Um, let's see. Let's get this corrected. We want to come back down here. And he goes again to 35 mile an hour. 25 would be like the top speed I would go down this road. Like, I don't see any reason 20 is, an, I think, is a normal speed. At least it got on the right side of the road this time, here. A lot of updates would get on the wrong side of the road here. So it continues to make this turn. That's good. I don't want to run over the trash. We're not going to count that as disengagement, though. We just don't want to run over the trash. Okay. So now, we're actually going to go back to this spot. We're going to do our right turn. annoying we have to again drop 15 mile an hour every single time we enter it like the thing is i'm gonna have we're gonna have to deal with this for a year uh because of the map data only gets updated once per year at at the current rate so it's it's really frustrating and um, this just makes me not want to test okay so that car waited, and my car wasn't turning appropriately. So that's going to be a for sure disengagement there. And make sure they get a camera button. And really, we can go. Okay, now we can definitely go. I don't know if you guys are active on Twitter, but Dan O'Dowd, or however you pronounce his name, the guy that was trying to stop autopilot, he um, took a video out of context and uh, didn't show the full thing from 10.2 back in like September or something. A long time ago in autopilot years. And tried to show it swerving into a dude, which was wrong. Holy crap. Um, that might have made that, but it definitely jerked the wheel far too much. We're going to go ahead and do that route one more time and see. I'm going to see if not redoing it. We'll, uh, get out. I'm just going to, again, another edge case. Right, well, what, what are we going to do? Like, just sit here? It's per That's not going to be a disengagement. Whoa, I didn't know that lot was in there. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay, so we're going to go route back to this, do another right turn. Again, what happens is, see, look here. Hey, it got in the right lane. <laughs> wow, that's a first. It continued to get in the right lane as much as it's... Um, for sure, uh, should have just turned into this lane in the first place. The bus coming in. There's a bus coming. Yeah. Kind of need to look at the bus car.
I think to make this a little bit quicker, everyone, we're only going to do one more left turn today. Um, we got <laughs> this video is going to have a lot of cool edge cases, though. Um, well, cool. What well, stressful? I, honestly, that situation, like the, the reason I was annoyed uh, at that fire truck is I was first. Um, well, per se, I was already going through the intersection. I'm like, that fire truck was giving me room, so I went to go go, and it kept on going. Like, that's what annoyed me, so I, like, I was annoyed about that, so I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like, go back up. <laughs> but no, of course, it's the bigger truck, so it forced me out of the way. Um, so fortunately, there was no one behind me, so I could back up. But again, those are edge cases, and like, if a robo taxi level four, be very clear, level four has to navigate that situation. There is... It doesn't have a choice. Okay, too close to the pole. Too close to the pole. Just one more time. I think we got some good video on this one, everyone. And we got cars. That it shouldn't go or I'm going to have to stop it. Okay, it's safe to go. It did the appropriate thing. It waited until the cars are gone. What? What's it doing? That was com com completely wrong. What's it? What's it doing? It does. Okay, well that was that was completely wrong. Let's go ahead and snapshot that. It tried to change lanes into the right lane for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on with our navigation here. Oh my god, everyone, what the... It just failed the turn. <laughs> Completely failed the turn. And now it's trying to go 35 down this road again. And because it, it missed its it missed its point, it's trying to redo the same thing. And then it stopped because it's too afraid of hitting people. It stops too far back from the stop sign. Okay, you can go. You can go. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> just, wow. Um, Asheville is just not better. I haven't tested Asheville. It was a, over a month and a half since the last time I tested Asheville. Still not better. A um, couple things that are better. Um, we will count that as a disengagement, actually, everyone, because of those people right there. Uh, yeah, it just, um, a few things that are just, it, it, it's so hard to find anything better. I, I'll, I'll note it once I review the footage, what, what ha was better, but it's just, nothing is really better. Um, the edge cage has made it worse, but we've at least got an interesting video, but, um, yeah. I will uh, continue on to our normal Asheville route, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.